Hello guys, Griff here, and this is my guide to getting the absolute best Assassin's Creed Valhalla runes. Minor runes, great runes, even diamond runes. I'll show you where to find runes to give you an unstoppable boost on the battlefield, as well as all the secret rune farming tips the game doesn't have the guts to tell you about. Now, runes are something you'll definitely want to have a lot of in this game. They are so much fun to play around with, and they unlock some pretty outrageous effects. Runes, for those of you who don't know, are rare loot drops you can slot into your weapons and armor to give them all sorts of abilities. This ranges from basic stuff like minor attack and defense boosts to some properly weird and surprising stuff, like making your weapon poisonous when you parry or causing your enemies to literally fall asleep mid-battle. I can only assume Eivor is coating his blade with Nightol. There has been some misinformation and general confusion about runes. Where do you get them? What level do you have to be? What level should your settlement be at? All of this does factor into what runes will drop for you, and the frequency they drop as well. But don't worry, I'm about to tell you everything you need to know. By the end of this video, you'll be able to go out and get yourself top-tier AC Valhalla runes, turning your inventory into what looks like a stage from Bejeweled. Before we get into all that though, and trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around, click that like button. I always appreciate a like. In fact, I will personally send each and every person who likes this video a gift hamper of good vibes. Second class post, of course, so please expect delivery in seven to 14 working days. Okay, now let's find us some rare runes. Right then, runes. Where are they and how do you get them? Well, to boil it down, there are three main ways you can get runes. The first, and in my opinion, best way is killing powerful enemies. These are enemies such as order members, zealots, and general big fat guys. Yeah! We'll cover how you can farm rooms of all of them later in the video. The second way you can get runes is in small chests. These are indicated by smaller gold orbs on the map. Now, I have to say I have been not that lucky in finding runes in chests. I'll get one maybe once every six or so hours. I've seen people reporting finding them in abundance, but personally, when I'm hunting runes, I don't go after chests. The third way of getting runes is from traders. They'll start by stocking minor runes, which only give you a few percentage more in a given stat. That is, until you upgrade your settlement to level five at which point they'll start stocking decent runes which you'll actually want to buy. That goes not just for the trader at your settlement, but every trader in the game. They share exactly the same stock, so what's in one is in all of them. What's good about buying runes from traders is that their stock resets. I've done some experimenting and it seems to reset every time you level up. So if you can't find a rune you like, go away and level up. Do a mystery or something, you know, whatever, whatever takes your fancy, and you'll find five brand new runes waiting for you. I've tried saving and reloading outside the shop, as well as doing that weird sleeping for 12 hours on the spot thing, but neither methods reset the runes. The only thing that does is leveling up. As long as your settlement is level 5, traders are a great and reliable source of runes. So those are the three main ways you can get runes in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now let's get to how you can maximize your chances of getting the best ones. This involves going after those zealots and order members I mentioned earlier. They're an incredible source of runes. That is, if you're prepared for a tough fight. They'll each drop one rune when they die, but with a set number of them in the game, you'd think that there's only a set number of runes. That is wrong. You can actually do one simple trick to farm runes off them. And that's this. All you have to do is save the game right before you kill them. Then, if you don't like the rune, reload your save and it'll be a completely different rune. Just look for your manual save in the list of save files. Not the autosave, the manual save. Rune drops from zealots and order members is completely random. I can't just tell you to go here and kill this guy for this particular rune because it's different each time. This saving and reloading method works best with targets that don't put up a fight. I found a great guy to do this with right here. He's a 
monk type character who literally has no weapons. You can take him out in seconds, get his rune, then reload for a different one if you don't like it. It's quite cheeky, but that's fine, because I'm cheeky. Another great rune farm is this character here. You'll find him chilling in his hut. All you have to do is go in and assassinate him, then get your rune. No one has to know. guys are a great change to the majority of Zealots and Order members, whose fights last minutes at a time, and sometimes other enemies get involved and, and wildlife comes in and it all gets a bit messy. So if possible, my advice is to pick a target that doesn't fight back. But hold on, there's one thing you really need to know before you do any of this, and that's to wait. The thing with getting runes off all these targets is, it all depends on your level. Your level is the variable that determines exactly what runes will drop for you. No matter what you do, if you're not highly leveled, you will not get high level rune drops. And that's why you really, really need to save zealot farming until you're highly leveled. So what level should you be? In my experience, level 250 is a safe option. Up until about level 150, I found one diamond rune. Only after level 250 is when diamond runes start becoming a bit more common. So yeah, it will take a bit of grinding to reach level 250, but once you're there, you can use that save and reload trick to get diamond runes with decent regularity. The same goes with traders. They'll start stocking diamond runes when you're at a high level. Under level 250, I never found a single diamond rune in the shop, but after that, you will find them. Buying them costs money, of course, they're not a freebie. So if you're going down this route, you might want to have a little look at my money farming guide. I'll put a link to that at the end of the video. But basically, it shows you how you can get thousands of silver coins in just a few minutes. This will let you buy any rune you want, as well as all tattoos, ship designs, uh, tree bits, the bits that hang off the trees, I don't know, everything in the shop, whatever. You may be hunting runes, but don't neglect your liquid assets which is silver. Back to runes, there's actually another way you can get them. Again, make sure you're level 200 when you try this. It's to take on contracts. You'll find them from redder at your camp. Each contract kill will give you a rune. The higher your level, the better rune you'll get. On lower levels, you'll just get some basic reward. But if you're a high level, good runes await. What's also good about contracts is that they are infinite. You never run out of contracts, so you can keep farming them for runes. Unlike zealots and order members, who run out rather quickly and never respawn again because, well, they're dead, contracts are forever. And some little final tips about runes. The better your weapon or armor is, the more runes you can put in them.
them. For instance, if the quality is fine, you can't put any runes in them. Superior gets you one rune slot, Flawless gets you two, and Mythical gets you three. Also, rune effects do not stack with inherent weapon effects. So if you've got a rune that, say, increases your damage when surrounded by three or more enemies, and you slot it into a weapon with this exact same effect already on it, it won't double your critical damage. Little tips there. So that was how to get runes in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. It's something the game doesn't really tell you about, so I just wanted to clarify how they work. And how they work is this. You can get runes off zealots, order members, contracts, and small chests, but good ones start showing up at level 250 and beyond. Also, you can get runes at traders, but only when your settlement is level 5. And remember, save the zealots and order members until you're level 250, because you don't get a second chance to farm them when they've all been stabbed. Thanks so much for watching guys, leave a like on the video, you'll feel great about it, and subscribe to my channel, Gaming with Griff Griffin. You'll get more content like this, and here's 20 more seconds of additional bonus content. Thanks again.